Hello, my question uh, is, my room is an open space rectangle composed of a living room, a listening area, and a dining room. Should I make measurements in the dining room as well? Uh, similar one from Armand. I have a room configuration with a regular shape. Should I make measurements only in zone 1 or in zone 2? Uh, how measurements should be done in irregular shaped rooms? That's a very good question. Some people have an, let's say, L-shaped room or a T-shaped room or a very, very long room where they only sit in one part of the room. And uh, in general, you don't have to measure or you don't have to move your microphone stand and measure in the farthest corner of your kitchen or dining room or whatever that L extension is like. Um, of course, you can move a little bit in towards that area. But remember, you want to measure how it sounds like in that listening part of your of your room. So if you map that room, measure around where you sit and maybe also cover the other area with common sense, that's fine. But don't go into the furthest corner of the L or of the T or whatever to measure specifically there. Um, one way uh, or one thing that, that we can recommend is if you have an irregular shaped room, just take a few more measurements. So uh, take uh, six, seven, eight measurements, room measurements. So take a few more. Of course, the, the room knowledge, we come to room knowledge later, uh, will we'll tell you about it. But to be on the safe side, make a few more uh, if you have uh, uh, that kind of, of room.